Hi guys, dito tayo sa Walmart. Meron dito nga ni sale na Daisy Red Rider Christmas Wish Edition 29 lang. Tara, look. Okay, we found it. Christmas Wish has a sundial compass. Huh. Let's go, let's go. Okay guys, dumaan kami dito sa outlet store. No? Lang tao. Tapos Christmas na yung decors nila. So, mag-unboxing ako pag uwi ko mamaya. Pakita ko lang yung outlet. So, pag Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, today we're gonna do an unboxing and testing of the daisy red rider a christmas wish edition but before that this is my daisy red rider i purchased i don't know 10 or 12 years ago shot it a few times tried it a few times and then put it in my safe gladly uh, i'm glad that i put it in my safe because when i was looking for it today a few minutes ago and when i found it inside my safe still looks brand new looks brand new not even a scratch oh that's just a reflection of the light looks brand new anyway so like i said purchased it a long time ago and when i shot this i was disappointed it is very low powered advertised 350 even though i don't have a chronograph maybe this is 250 260 at most so uh, I was disappointed I said what kind of BB gun is this it won't even penetrate a can and then lately I've been watching some Red Rider videos and I, now I appreciate why they made a low powered BB gun like the Daisy Red Rider this is not meant for hunting small game not meant for uh, 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 penetration on cans just for plinking backyard plinking and for kids to train on gun safety safe gun handling and so that uh, the BBs don't go flying past your your fans so just for uh, low power BB shooting so maybe you can use this indoors also okay so with that like i said we're gonna do an unboxing i found this in one of my local walmarts not all walmarts uh carry this at this price so if youtube is watching this is just a show it show and tell video nothing is for sale in this post and i cannot mention any actual price i got this for 29 credits at one of my local walmart because not everybody carries this at this price 29 looking online it is around 56 credits up to 60 and above okay so what's different about this red rider it has a sundial and a compass yeah, these are the specs so let's open it up oh at that price 29 credits I got another one yes so I'm gonna keep this box like this and i'm gonna open this one let's check what's inside i will try not to destroy the box There we go. All right. Huh. Uh huh. Paperwork. Uh, copy instructions. Yes, no, do not return. That's it. 
And I think this is for the sundial. I'll, I'll show it to you later. And that's it. Not even a single paper target. No, they can't even print one. They can't even print a single paper target. No, not even. Do not return. Okay, I'm not gonna return this. Not gonna return this. Anyway, I bought this for uh, plinking cans. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, there is a, an obvious difference. Oh, this is is it tied? Why? Why? I should have gotten a pair of scissors. Because I don't want to scratch. I don't want to scratch these. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, brass uh, barrel band. This is my other DC. It's black. It's brass and like I said compass sundial sundial huh this is a good concept for survival or other survival air guns out there I think you stick it here okay it like that and find the sun yep that's how you do it anyway are they the same other than the brass barrel band they look the same they look the same oh the Red Rider logo is on the right side. Red Rider logo is on the left side. To accommodate the sundial and the compass. Other than that, they are the same. Lengthwise, they're the same gun. Same gun, same length. Same everything. How about the handle? Yep, it's metal. What kind of metal? I don't know. How about this? Yep, metal. See, metal. All right, let's go outside. Hi guys, we're here outside. Targets are set up around 20 feet. Close range. So don't forget your eye protection and my neighbor's dog on cue. So this is the new brand Shh. loading point. <laughs> okay, external mic is on. I like this mic. Hello, Mike Tesla. Okay. My dog's toy, get out of the way. Loading port. Press, push, press down and slide. Okay. Load some BBs. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
Oh, I made a mess. Okay. Close it and load my ori original Red Rider. That's enough. Okay. Hi right, guys, let's start shooting. Do we need light? Don't forget iPro. iPro. By the way, I'm using Crossman Copperhead Copper Coated Steel BBs. Okay, targets are over there okay here we go uh first the christmas wish edition huh okay where's the safety okay safe is there there you go safe fire there you go All right, all right. Let me get the camera. Nice. Ah, oh, it, it didn't load. Wow. <laughs> uh, side paint can on the side like I said this is 20 feet ah there you go reload wow uh-huh that's heavy that target is heavy Yeah, really heavy. I'm hitting it, but it's not falling down. Uh, let me hit it at the tip, the top. I missed. That's a missed. There you go. Again, hit, but not falling down. Not dropping. Again, oh, let me hit it at the top. The top of the cover. And then uh, I went through. I went through the plastic. I'll show it to you later. Again, hit. Not dropping. Not enough. Hit not enough power huh not enough power see the cap <laughs> I shot the cap one more hit not dropping uh, that can is heavy Again, hit. Let me see. The, the coconut can lay, laying down. Uh-huh. Again. Hit. Uh-huh. 
again. Ah, it's really not dropping. Huh? Huh. Let's see the targets. Okay, guys. See, let's see. This can is not dropping. Oh, I hit it here. It broke off and hit it here. Huh. It won't fall. Yep. Underpowered, but lots of fun. Let's try the other Red Rider. Hi right, guys, uh, we use the brand new Christmas Wish Edition. Let's try the other Red Rider. Bought 10 years ago. All right, here we go. Save and fire. Hmm. They look the same. There you go. Did not load. Huh. Oh. It's not loading. Oil here, never oil this. What is wrong? Let me shake it. Okay, what's wrong with this? And what is this? Huh. Something's broken inside. Oh. Okay. Uh, don't point it downwards. <laughs> what a boo boo. Miss, don't point it downwards. Why am I pointing it downwards? There you go. Hit. Okay. Why not? There you go. Hmm. Come on. Yes. There you go. Last one. The heaviest can of them all. Just grazed it. One more. Okay guys, no? Ano masasabi ko? Nung una ko nga siyang binili, hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Pero ngayon, wow! Huh. Okay na okay siya para sa akin. Kasi pwede siyang gamitin sa backyard, safe na safe. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka mag-worry ng over-penetration. Pwede nga ito sa loob ng bahay, I'm sure. As long as may proper backstop ka sa BBs. No? Don't expect na pareha sila ng accuracy ng mga CO2 PCP guns, no? Maski yung mga brake barrels. Ma Siyempre, less accurate to. Kaya, mga cans ang target niya. 
kayang-kaya niya. Pero kung talagang dime size ang hahanapin mo yung mga 1 inch groupings, mahirapan ka dito. Kasi BBs eh, unang-una BBs, hindi talaga sila ganun ka-accurate. Tapos ang barrel nito is smooth bore, wala siyang rifling. Para ano, suabi lang yung BBs. Ha, na-impress ako. And I'm glad na I kept this. Kahit nung una hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Lalo lalo na nung una kong nakita kanina after so many years na mukha pa rin siyang bago. And considering naglabas sila ngayon, parehas na parehas yung quality. Mas marami siyang features. Ito ang bigyan ako idea, di ba? Kung matagal na yung follower ng channel ko, meron akong survival shotgun project. Maganda pala lagyan ng ano, no, compass. Sundial, hindi ko lang alam paano ko magagawa to Pero yung compass, hanapin nga natin yung north. It always points to the north. Ah, tama oh. North nga doon. Doon ang north. Doon ang north. Hmm, galing. Ah, uh, ano to? Kita nyo, may BB pa siya dyan. Aha! Parehas pala sila. Uh, yun. Para alam mo loaded ka. Meron kang pang baby. So. Ganda, ganda, ganda. So, na-excite ako kasi eto, plano kong ano, i-mod. Palalakasin ko ng konti. Umabot lang siya ng 300. May nakita ako umabot ng 300, 320 FPS. Yun, masaya na ako. Ang trade-off naman nun, pag pinalakas mo siya, mahirapan ikak. Mas mahirap ikak. So, mahirapan yung bata siguro. Kasi yung tension ng spring, lalagyan mo na ano, mas malakas na tension. Yun ang plano ko. So, dito. Imamod ko to, tapos yung isa original para pwede magamit ang bata. Anyway, yan. Na-excite ako kasi ngayon naglalabasan na sa, sa online yung mga mods para dito no para mas mag-enjoy ka yung iba nilalagyan ng scope pinapalitan ng handle meron nga ako nakita sa ebay aluminum handle eh tapos eto yung adult yung isip ako pa bibili ako ng adult red rider mas mahaba siya ng konti uh, almost 2 inches ang haba mas mahaba ng konti kaso mas mahal parehas din dito yung size tapos pinapalakas nga yung internals, yung, yung spring. Pinapalitan yung spring or dinadagdagan ng tension. Either, uh, either way, tumataas yung FPS up to 320 yung nakita ko. 320 malakas na yun. Kaya nang bumutas ng isang side ng lata. So that's it guys. Ito yung aking ano, uh, Red Rider. No, Daisy Red Rider. Regular Red Rider. And the Christmas Wish Edition. Yung Christmas Wish, yung A Christmas Story yata yun. Yung pelikula dito sa US. Parang mas lighter ang kulay ng kahoy nito. Ito mas darker ng konti. Or siguro dahil sa tagal ng panahon. I don't know. Pero mas gusto ko yung gold na barrel band. Ito black lang. Anyway, yan. Dalawang Red Rider meron tayo. Hopefully guys, nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to, no? And maraming pa tayong naka-line up na ano, airgun videos, adventure videos. And yung ating ating controversial vlogs doon sa Vladimir Rasputin channel. Follow me there. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.